Hello, I'm Mitchell, this is a lathe, and today I'm gonna to show you the simple steps for maintaining your lathe on a monthly basis. Maintenance tasks are crucial to ensure that your machine is running correctly and making good parts. Previously, I covered daily and weekly maintenance tasks, so if you haven't seen that before, you can check it out in the description below. For now, let's get going on the monthly tasks. Begin by inspecting the coolant lines for chips and clogs in the line. You can visually check this by running the coolant and seeing if there is reduced or unusual flow in the coolant line. If this is the case, remove the coolant line from the turret and use compressed air to clear the line. Clear off any chips on the weight covers and check for damage to the sheet metal or wipers. Anywhere coolant could potentially leak into the machine and damage components. For models with felt wipers, check the felt for tears and chip buildup between the felt and weight covers. If the weight covers are good, spray a light coat of rust preventative and run the axes back and forth to apply the preventative evenly. For machines with tailstocks, apply one full pump of Mobile SHC 460. We recommend doing this monthly, especially when in heavy use. However, you can adjust this based on your own usage. Going to the side of the machine, check the level of the hydraulic fluid in your machine. For machines built before 2016, check the sight glass on the side of the tank. For machines built after 2016, check the dipstick. In either case, refill the tank as necessary. If in between checks you notice that the level drops significantly, check for and repair any leaks and then refill. Opening up the lube panel, check the spindle lubrication tank level. If the level has dropped below recommendation, refill the tank using the correct oil for your machine. As with all the lubricants that I use in this video, you can find out the ones that your machine needs by going on to HaasCNC.com and viewing the lubricants, grease, and sealants table, which is also linked in the description below. Now while you're at the back of the machine, turn the power off and make sure that the red LED light on the vector drive is off. For newer machines, remove the air filter and knock off the heavy dust particles and then use compressed air to clean it. For older vector drives, there is no filter to remove, so simply use a rag or duster when cleaning the vents. Next, check the cleanliness of the coolant tank by dredging the bottom of the tank. If there is excessive chip buildup, dredge the remainder of the tank until it is clean. Otherwise, you can leave the tank as is. For machines with ball screws and linear guides equipped with Zerk fittings, such as the Tourum lathe, use two full strokes of Mobile Grease XHP 222 to lubricate these components. While we recommend doing this every month, this can be done more or less often depending on the uses of your machine. For bar feeders, apply one pump of Mobile Grease XHP 222 to the Zerk fitting on the linear guide and lightly apply the same grease to the pads and the slots of the transfer tray. And that's it. These maintenance tasks are crucial to maintaining the machine performance you need to keep your shop running. If you like this video, let us know in the comments below. And while you're there, you can check out our monthly maintenance checklist, which goes over everything that I covered here. For more service and maintenance related questions and content, visit HaasCNC.com service, and I'll see you next time.